All right, let's give the bull line a shot. Now, I definitely would encourage you to teach your scouts to learn the method of tying the bow line around themselves. Um, but since I can't really tape that very well right now, I'm going to show you the method of just tying it uh, like you would tie any other knot, just right in front of you. So here's, let's see if I can get this on the camera. There's my loop. I'm going to first make a loop on this standing end of the end of the rope, like that. And it doesn't matter whether you make the loop this way or this way, but depending on which way you make the loop, you need to finish the knot differently. So uh, I don't know if I can describe this very well, but what what I've done by by making the loop this way is forced myself to need to bring the end of the rope up through the bottom so that as I come out of that loop and go around the standing part of the rope, it will bind this to the loop. I'm not sure if that makes sense, but let me go ahead and go around here and back in the hole that I came. And when I tighten everything up, it will look just like the bowline you have come to love and adore love the bowline. Sorry, climbing experts. I love the bowline, even though you think the figure eight knot is superior. I still love the bowline. All right. The nice thing about the bowline is that when tied correctly, you can pull. You can pull as hard as you want. That thing is not going to move. Unlike the two half hitches, this would just cinch right up to the end of the pole, but this is not going to move. Love it. Okay.